IT Talent College Tutorials presents Vono Bazur from Uniserver with How to use the cloud to create a simple solution to complex issues. I will give a short presentation of uh, the practical use of cloud computing. When people uh, think about cloud computing, they see a white cloud in a blue sky. But what is cloud computing really? Well, it's a big data center with a lot of servers in it. Um, all over the world there are hundreds, thousands of data centers with millions of servers all connected to each other, which is the basis of the foundation of cloud computing. Um, they believe there's research that 15% of the world's energy goes to data centers, so it's quite large. How did cloud computing start? Well, there were in, at the first there were companies like Google, Yahoo and Amazon, uh, which started on the internet. They created their own platforms because there wasn't any solutions for it. Amazon was the first company who commercially uh, created an infrastructure platform. Um, they thought, well, if we have this challenge to create such a platform, then every company out there has the same challenge as well. So they created AWS, which we all know as the cloud. I believe that without cloud computing, um, there weren't any successful startups like we know today because cloud computing was the foundation for a lot of successful startups like WhatsApp, Uber, uh, Dropbox, uh, Snapchat, etc. Um, without cloud computing, they weren't as far as they are currently. How do you manage such a platform? Well, in the early days, it was complete chaos. A lot of engineers uh, managed it by hand. Well, if you can assume uh, millions of servers, you can't manage it by hand. So this is the uh, solution you see in the history of cloud computing. If you take a look at the future, uh, they say with Internet of Things, uh, in 2020 there are 50 billion devices connected to the Internet. Currently we have around 20 billion. So that's quite an increase in connected devices to the internet. So much more chaos than we currently have. Another wave we see is containerization of applications. Uh, what we mean by that is that all, every application will be uh, containerized, which is transferable all over the world in, uh, on, on different clouds. That makes the complete environment much more complex than we currently have. That's a big challenge, so how do we manage that? I believe that if you take a look at cloud computing, everything is built on top of Lego blocks. Um, with all different types of Lego blocks, you can create new solutions without creating new Lego blocks. You all need to have the creativity to create such a solution. But how do you connect all those Lego blocks together? Well, there are a lot of solutions and tooling out there to create um, new solutions from um, existing Lego blocks. Uh, we at Uniserver uh, use different solutions and different tooling. We use commercial software, orchestration software, but also open source software like Chef, Ansible, Puppet to create an orchestration layer between the Lego blocks and the hardware. At Uniserver, we created uh, this um, uh, infrastructure. This is the workflow engine with uh, um, an, an, a service bus within it. That's the highway of information. And on that highway, we connect uh, all kinds of Lego blocks. That is our own infrastructure, uh, hardware, storage, uh, but also uh, Azure, uh, AWS, uh, Salesforce, and all kinds of different applications. Um, each application or each Lego block transfers information on top of the service bus where they uh, can inter interconnect together and create one nice simple solution. If you have such a solution, a foundation of uh, connecting all the Lego blocks, you also need a user interface. Um, we believe at Uniserver that uh, we need to create a, a user interface which is very simple 
and where every business user understands what he will see. There are a lot of technical portals out there which are very nice for technical people but not for the business users. Our mission at Uniserver is to create simple solutions from complex problems. Um, you can see an example of a dashboard from our customer panel. My advice to everyone is uh, learn how to create simple solutions from complex problems. If you can do that, then your future is well very bright. Uh, there are a lot of smart people out there who create complex solutions from complex problems. But the challenge is how to create simple solutions. Thanks for watching.